Hotel say that people are standing there on the street in horror as a fire engulfs it and continues to burn unabated. You have There are some things that are so important, nobody can imagine the world without them. They're so old, they're so important, they've watched over so many things that have happened in the world that for them to be gone seems unthinkable. Well, thankfully, this one isn't. The Notre Dame Cathedral is more than 600 years old. It was opened in 1345. Most Americans of a certain age will know it for this particular movie, although that is based on some source material that is one part of a long history of the Notre Dame Cathedral. As soon as the fire happened, President Emmanuel Macron said that he wanted the cathedral rebuilt within five years, and work assessing the damage and making plans to rebuild immediately began. If you go to the cathedral, the whole walk up is actually lined with pictures and information about what they're doing, and they even have an exhibit in the crypt about the rebuild process. Top of the list for restorers are things like soot and fire damage to the stained glass windows and sculptures, as well as rebuilding the roof and the spires, which were destroyed totally. One of the more visible and tragic things about the fire was the spire collapsing, although it will be reconstructed from the recovered lead from the fire. Workers even sourced wood to rebuild the spire directly from the forest, going out and felling trees specifically with the right attributes. What? As for the stained glass, restorers have been working around the clock in multiple shifts for years to prepare the glass to be installed back where it belongs next year. In a stroke of wildly good luck, the famous bells were unharmed in the fire, and many of the sculpture pieces were actually spared because they were already removed for restoration. This whole process is painstaking. I didn't really realize I cared about a cathedral on the other side of the world, but as I stood there looking at it, I was hit with a huge sense of relief that we didn't lose this cathedral. I'm really grateful it's still there. Next time I'm back, I'm definitely going to go inside. For more music and travel from a professional opera singer, follow here. <laughs>